Hi everybody, well today I am making a beef stew, like I mentioned this yesterday, so we're going to cut the beef, I have to wash this wooden cutting board because I have to put vegetables on it, we're going to cut it in half. Use about two packages of uh, stew, we're going to put it in the oil, what I want to do is I want to brown the meat, and it's going to take about four hours on high heat in the crock pot. We're going to cut this up, brown it in oil. Okay, this is, this is no doubt folks, this is a winter dish. Now, I wonder how a lot of meat because of that. Oh, what am I? This is not chicken. Okay, I'm not awake. This bad habit I got into. Still, some of it's a little pink. Not to worry about it because what we're going to do is we're going to cook this on high heat for about four hours. So you cook it in vegetable oil. It's delicious. It's yummy. I'm going to add a little seasoning into it before we go to the vegetables. It's going to make a really delicious, wonderful beef stew. I always say like you eat like a lot of stews in the winter time. Get rid of this. Hours. Okay, we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes on the flame. It's still something that's a little pink. What I want to show you now is while that's cooking, I'm gonna add in some salt, garlic powder. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is start cutting up the potatoes because we're gonna add the veg vegetables into the uh, beef stew. You want to make sure you don't get any pink in there. Okay. I have uh, a few red potatoes. I recommend use red potatoes to go into your stew. So we're going to start cutting up the potatoes. You want it to look like this, okay, folks? A little small. Here we go. Add in some salt. You want to really season this food up with good. A little bit of garlic powder. Oh, it's going to be delicious. And a dash of pepper. Just a dash of black pepper. Now we're going to put in the potatoes. It's going to take four. It's going to take about five hours to cook because the potatoes are thick. You know, this one's a little too thick. Let's get this one a little bit thinner. Here we go. All right. I'm going to put the potatoes in here. Wait till you see this. It's going to, really going to be fantastic. It's going to be a fantastic meal tonight. I get onion in here. You're going to need onion, carrots, and a little piece of celery. I absolutely love beef stew in the winter time because that's when it really tastes good. It's, good. it's hearty. It's good on it's good on your belly when it's cold outside. Put some onions in here. There's a lot of vegetables in here, folks. That's what's going to make it so delicious when we when it's done later. There we go. A little bit more onion. We don't need a lot. Then I'm going to add some carrots in here. Okay. Now we're going to wash these carrots. Look how beautiful that's coming along. I can't wait to have it later, folks. Oh. More carrots. Okay. We're going to cut the celery up. A little piece of celery. You don't need a lot of celery. A nice, pure vegetable dish. Okay. A little bit of celery. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Now, the next step, folks, is going to be, I'm going to add in the beef broth. This is what's going to really turn it into a fantastic beef stew. I'm going to take two cups of beef broth. You don't want to overwater it either. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to add in is I want to mix it together. I'm going to get my spoon. We're going to mix this together. And then we're going to go to tomato paste, put the tomato paste in, I'm going to clear my spoon. I know everything is in this house, that's why I love my house so much. Everything together. There we go. I'm going to try to the broth get onto everything, then we're going to go to the next step. I'm going to add in a little bit of tomato paste. A little bit on the little tomato paste, just a drop. The tomato paste. You don't need a lot of tomato paste, folks. Just a little bit. There we go. I'm going to mix this together. I want to get it into the sauce. There we go. Now 
Okay. Now, what we're going to do now, Kelsey, add a little bit more seasoning in here. There we go. A little bit more garlic powder. And we're going to put this on high heat. We're going to cook it for about four to five hours. And you're going to have a fantastic beef stew for your dinner. About four to five hours. Time to get the beef. Folks, we have one more step to do. This has been an all-day project. It says two. It says a, a half a cup. I'm going against it. I'm only adding in a quarter cup of beef oil because it's soupy enough. Less than a half a quarter of a cup. Now, I also want to add in my flour. Only a quarter of a cup of flour. We, what we're trying to do is we want to thicken it. I can't say it's going to be uh, thick, thick, like, but we don't want it like water. All right. It's a quarter cup of flour. I'll dump it in here. Now, what I want to do now is I'm going to stir the flour together. Get it into the sauce. Get all that white out of here. And what's going to happen is, folks, this is going to thicken it up. I'm already getting thick. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Going to get all our flour out and mixing it together because we want it nice and thick. Oh, it's coming along beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. There's nothing better than beef stew in the wintertime, folks. You have not lived you have beef stew. I tell you, it's delicious. Put some salt in, a little bit of pepper, garlic powder. And have a pepper in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cook this for another 25 minutes. We want this to thicken. And here we have delicious, wonderful beef stew. It is so delicious, so yummy, and it's a great winter dish. It's best, best served with two delicious uh, honey rolls and a delicious brownie for dessert. And here we have it from Deborah Tom Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to a wonderful YouTube channel.